Okay, we are sorting. So we have a bunch of uh, seeds and we want to find some of the ones that have the fewest time to harvest. So uh, we thought this would be a great application for some computer science sorting algorithms. Mm -hmm. um, so the first one that came to your mind was bubble sort, right? Do you mm -hmm. want to show us how that would work? Okay, so I think if I was right, this would be like 68 and 59, uh -huh. so that would go here, and then 35, so that would go here. Am I doing it right? So that's not bubble sort, but that would be, um, is that selection sort? So, yeah, so bubble sort, insertion sort, and selection sort are all kind of related. It's all about um, doing a whole bunch, you're, I guess, iterating through the list or a subset of the list and then um, making a comparison. Okay, so then, show me bubble so sort. Those are all O of n squared if you want to get technical. It oh, okay. Be, um, so bubble sort would be you look at the first two mm -hmm. and then you say which one has, which one is less, right? Mm -hmm. 59, so we're going to keep it. Mm -hmm. We're going to the next pair. I see. And then 35 is less, so we're going to swap these. Right. But, but keep going. Yeah, uh -huh. and then so we'll see 30. To 50 is going to be less than 68, so we're going to swap these. And, and then go going. through, and then we come back and do it again. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, next. So What's the next that one? That one's pretty slow, because you have to do a ton of comparisons. Uh-huh. Because um, we, what we saw was that we had it, I think, like this or something. And then in, we don't need to do this and keep going. We can just see that, like, 30 to 50 is less than that. And then we can, we can see that it's the minimum... Um, or, I don't know, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. Okay, so what's the sort um, you want to use? Okay, well, yeah, so there's also selection and insertion, which is basically, um, insertion is, oh man, um, so one of them we assume, man, I really gotta do right. this. No, 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 I got it. Okay. Alright, so... Um, we look at a subset and we say, we disregard that, that doesn't really matter if it's sorted or not, mm -hmm. we're going to introduce one at a time. So we see 35, um, that's sorted because there's only one element, mm -hmm. then we take these two and then we got to sort these. Now how do we want to handle ranges? Uh, lowest. So the lowest possible or yeah. you want to, okay. Lowest. So we're going to look at these two. Assume that is unsorted and it does not matter, mm -hmm. and we're going to sort these two. Um, so we see that 30 is less than 35, mm -hmm. so we're going to put that there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move on to here. And so we're going to, we know this is sorted, mm -hmm. so then we can just insert this into the right spot. Ah, uh, okay. And then we'll be okay. Okay. So that's sorted as is, though. Okay. Now we have 59, though. And so we don't need to do 59, we don't need to take 59 and compare it to each of these. We can just compare it to 68, moving okay. left. Okay. We see it's less, so we make a swap. And 59 is not less than 35, so we keep it. Okay. Now 71, that's fine. 60 to 90, we would do 60, 60. to 90. We would compare these two, right? Uh -huh. Swap them. Compare these two, swap them. Compare these two, leave it. Okay. Now that one, we would continue. I think that one is insertion sort. Selection sort. And do all of our work here. Yeah. And it'll take more time than if we just had sorted these like a normal person. <laughs> but, um, but this is a computer and it doesn't think, and we have to tell it instructions. Well, I'm also saying that because we're deciding to uh, randomize this and apply multiple different sorts <laughs> on the um, same set. <laughs> yeah. So okay, selection sort is where we take we look through them and I think so, find the minimum, and then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's selection sort. Um, so select, we would look through them, find the minimum, and we would put that in the first slot. Okay, so, so there's a 35 over there. There's a 30 over 30. there. 30. So we would scan through. 59 is our current minimum. Mm -hmm. We're starting there. 50, 45 is less than 59, so that's mm -hmm. now our minimum. 68 is not. 55, no. We'd go to 35, see that that is now our new minimum, and then our last element is our minimum. Okay. So we're going to swap these two. Okay. We're finding the first one. Okay. Now we're looking for the second minimum. So we know that this is sorted again, right? Mm -hmm. And now we just want to... You, you have a lesser so we, range. Yeah we, yeah, we only have to scan through these. So 
we would look through and we would find 35 to be our next minimum, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So we're going to swap there. So because mm -hmm. 35 is the minimum of this subarray, mm -hmm. it's going to be the second smallest. Okay. Right? So now we continue here. We would find, I think, no, 68, 55, 45 is our minimum. So we would swap there. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Um, now this one, I think, is the best out of those three. Um, those all have the same worst case. Okay, so here's what we should do. Average performance. Yep. What we should do is plant our plants. <laughs> we're almost done, we're almost done. No, no. And okay. then keep the packages. Uh huh. And then Each have. Each time do a different like sort. No, no. Have okay. the same starting sort. Uh huh. And then see how many steps for each one to get it sorted. What do you mean? Well, I suppose there we could do this on a spreadsheet without the seed packets, but <laughs> or in something else. But anyway, whatever. Okay, so because we have a few, we only have a few seeds. It really, those three would be okay because um, it's a small number of comparisons we have to make and swaps. Uh -huh. But for greater numbers, you want to use your divide and conquer sorts. So there are three of those. There's heap sort. Or three main ones, heap sort, merge sort, which is one that you remembered, and quick sort is like the holy grail or whatever. So, you want to show us merge sort? Do you remember that? Uh, well, are you talking about the one where we divide it into two yeah. groups and then we sort them and then we put them together? Okay. So then here's 75, so we're going to go through here and we're going to sort this in the order that it works. And then that would be that, right? And then we're going to sort this, and that would be that. And then we have two groups that are sorted, and then we look at them and we sort them together. So then that would be this, and 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 this, and this and that. Ta -da. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is that you keep dividing in half until you get to a small enough range. Oh. Um, you can divide mm -hmm. all the way. Um, mm -hmm. So you, you can divide, we can say four is gonna be our minimum. Uh, once we reach four, we're just gonna sort using any of the like previous. Other uh, sorts. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can also go down until you get to two, so divide it in half again. Now right. we're two elements. Um, or divide until, go until you get to zero. Um, to pairs. Yeah, so now we have two pairs, we have two ones, and then we're going to cut this in half, and mm -hmm. we'll, we can't anymore. So this is sorted, and this is a sorted one mm -hmm, array. Mm -hmm. So we're going to compare these two, now that is sorted, mm -hmm. and we did the same thing at the same time for these, right? Mm -hmm. So now we look at them, and because these are both sorted, mm -hmm. if we remove one of them, Mm -hmm. then now we know that the left of each one is the minimum mm -hmm. of each, right? So we just find the next minimum, which is here. Now this is empty, so we just add in the rest of those. And we did the same thing for the other half, so... Yeah, um... Okay. Heap sort. This is one that I kind of forgot about, but let's see if I can do it. So basically, a heap... Do you remember what a heap is, Mom? Um... No. Do you remember what a binary search tree is? Or just a binary tree? Boy, all these technical terms. <laughs> it's like coming back to you? No, well, but I terms, know the term. Yeah, so a binary tree, right, is just where each element has two children, right? Uh. Um, I mean, it could also be like this, um, which would be really bad not balanced, right? Mm -hmm. um, but a binary tree is where you start with a root and then each thing has zero, one, or two children. Mm -hmm. um, and a binary search tree is uh, basically where the left child of any node is less and the right child is greater than that one, right? Okay. So for these three... Right, that seems familiar. Uh, this would be a binary search tree, right? Okay. Uh, we could also do it like this, right? 
where there's no right children for any of them. So, so then you're just taking them as a list and then going through the list and putting them into place. Uh, yeah. So, okay, well, what I was going to see if you remembered binary search trees for is so that we can make a heap. Now, a heap is kind of similar, but instead of being sorted left to right, it's kind of sorted vertically. So what we do is we take all of our elements in a random order and just take them one by one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build a heap. There's a faster way to do this, um, but we're going to do this in the easier to understand way. We take 55. Um, we're going to build a max heap. Um, so basically the greater element. So a heap is sorted from top to bottom. So that means that um, if we're building a max heap, then the higher elements are greater than the lower elements. Okay. So it doesn't, left or right doesn't matter. It just mm -hmm. matters as l that the um, node has no children greater than it for a max heap. So we're going to add 75 to the heap. Okay. The 75 is greater, so, so then... we're going to swap. And so now this is a max heap, right? Okay. Because none of them have children greater than them. Okay. So we're going to add 71. Now, um, Again, it's still a heap because there's no children greater, right? 71 mm -hmm. is less than 75. Mm -hmm. If we had it this way, it would be the same exact thing. It does not matter, right? Mm, okay. We're going to add 45. Now, that works uh -huh. um, because, again, it's right. less. Let's say we had it like this or some. Let's say we had it like... This one came first and you pulled that one. Uh, hold on. So let's say we had it like this. Now, this side will be whatever. Um, we would want to take, if we replace it with 55, we would have to do another swap here, right? Uh -huh. Because 55 is less than 71. Right. So what you'd want to do in that case, where um, you have a greater element, is you want to take the greater one and swap it. And mm -hmm. so now we're good, right? Um, okay. But we were like this, I think. Mm. Um, so we're going to add just left to right, top to bottom. 35, that's good. 60 to 90, what do we do now? Uh, so, okay, this can't be, this, so that, that has to go there. Yes. All right, okay. Good. 68. Uh, so this has to go here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 59. Uh, so you would put it up here. Uh huh. And then thirty to fifty. Um, that's okay. Good. So now we have a max heap. So basically, what we do is we'll take one and we'll put it at the end of our list. Uh huh. Now we need a new thing to put up there. So what we could do is take the greater and take the greater and take the greater, and now we have our heap again. Um, but there's an easier way to do that because. That, that can get kind of complicated. So what we're actually going to do is just take our last element here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to do a whole bunch of comparisons. So we're going to see, is there anything greater than it? Any of its children? If so, put the greater one up top. So uh, what, is it, what are we going to swap? Um, well, you could swap either. But... Well, let's say we swapped this are one, you right? saving? Are you saving the max value? The max that we... The max value in this group. Yeah, so it has to be at the top, right? Yeah, but are you saving it somewhere? Oh, no, it's just each of these nodes. Okay. Um, so if you're looking at this, and you put this up here, then it's got these two? Yeah, those are two children. Then it could go either way. So let's say we did this swap. Okay. Then do we have a problem? Uh... Yes. So we want to swap with the higher one. Higher one. Okay. Good and then job. Now what? Good, job. Good job. Good job. Good job. And then now you swap with the higher one. Uh huh. Which is here. And then. And then you swap with the higher one. And now we have our heap again. Okay. And so we do that again. Okay. And then we take the last one, put it up there. And so it may seem like this is really not any easier than just finding the greater. I would probably do that, wouldn't I? But if you're coding it, it, it just makes it a lot easier. Oh, there, okay. it, it, Yeah, so visually it may not be, but mm. um, yeah. 
Okay. So we put that up there. Okay. And then this one. And then this one. And uh, let me extract that, and you'll see this is now sorted, right? And okay. So we'll keep doing that. Great. Now, next time I'm going to do this with seed packets, and then but I have to do you. some research. <laughs> you want to so do the last big one? No. <laughs> I think I want to plant. <laughs> Thanks for indulging me with this. Yeah, but we can do this well, again tomorrow. I guess they're randomized, so we gotta. I mean, we don't have to do it in front of the camera, but. <laughs> well, okay, what's the last big the one? The last one is quick sort. This is. The easiest one. Um, this is Depending. the yeah. most, like, popular, I guess, because it's, it's, it's like the Easiest fastest. to code? No, it's just the fastest. Um, basically, we're gonna take an element and call it our pivot. Um, so we're, for, there are different ways to do this, mm -hmm. um, but for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna take the last one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna say 55 is our pivot. So okay. we're gonna go through, and I'm not gonna do this as you would, like, programming. I'm gonna do it a little bit more easily. Um, but basically, we just take all the elements, and um, if they're less than 55, we put it on the left. If they're greater than 55, we put it on the right. Um, so, this one's less, uh, this one is less, this one is greater, oh, this one is greater, uh, greater, 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 and less. And you'll notice, it is roughly even, right? Like, it could be that, and then it would be actually even, but um, the point is that most of the time, you are you could get a case where 35 is your pivot, um, mm -hmm. and then you have like only one thing on the side, um, but most of the time you're going to get something fairly balanced. Mm -hmm. um, and then, again, we divide and conquer. I guess keep short, is that, that one's not a divide and conquer, but that one's better um, than the first three. Okay, so then we take these, 30 is our pivot, so both of them are greater. And then here we can just sort these. So okay. whatever that's sorted. Sixty to ninety is our pivot. So greater, less, greater, greater. Now this one is sorted because it's only one. And then for these, uh, sixty-eight is our pivot. They're both greater, and then we would just sort those or whatever. But okay. Gotcha! And after 20 minutes, can we plant now? Okay, yeah. what? Let's now let's turn it right side up so we can see what we're looking at. So I think these we want to plant in the um, in the containers because these are more likely to get eaten by snails, and so the containers will give Those the snails, three. yeah, will give the snails a different cilantro, barrier. Cilantro, I think. Do in the top, the little hanging thing. I could. But cilantro, I think, does grow quite bushy. And so we could even put it in with the tomato, like around. You know what I mean? Uh huh. So we could plant the veggies and then plant it in different places. Well, what do you want to put in that hanging thing? Uh, we could do the garlic when we grow that, maybe. I don't know what gar garlic plants look like. We should look and see. Uh, that's true. Although um, I know garlic is good for repelling cabbage worms. So yeah. they say to plant it near kale. Oh, so okay, do let's that. do that, yeah. Our sad kale. Okay, all right, so get to work. So we planted three containers of lettuces. We put, we tied up the tomato plant, which is getting quite bushy. We planted cilantro underneath here and beans over there and in a tea. There are peppers in those corners, three more stubs of um, green onions under here, and we'll plant more stuff tomorrow, but we're cleaning up the beds, we cut off all the kale because it was looking kind of natty, and got harvested some parsley for cucumber sandwiches, we put down carrots in this corner and broccoli in this corner and we let that's Joey's daffodil over there okay